This is not financial advice, it's not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only and everything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all the YouTube algorithm stuff so you can visit I put them out so you don't think I'm analyzing that data. Listen, Credit Suisse is trying to minimize, minimize their dire financial situation. They're claiming that that, that clients might have took out some of their money, <laughs> but they didn't close their accounts. So what are they implying? That the clients are going to come back? That the clients are going to put more money on a sinking ship? I mean, it's absolutely outrageous. And then they're expecting a $1.6 billion loss for quarter four. If that's what they're putting out there, if that's what they're speculating, I believe it's going to be a whole lot worse. Okay, it's going to be a whole lot worse than one point six billion. And then they've lost so much money, such a drop in liquidity. They have been breaching the regulatory limits set by the government. Okay, Credit Suisse is in trouble. And, and, and then their credit default swaps. And if you watch my videos, um, I, I explain credit default swaps are just like insurance. Their insurance that if Credit Suisse goes down, the people who invested the money, they won't, they'll be compensated. They'll be made whole. It's like somebody with two DUIs. When they go to buy car insurance, it's going to be really, really high because they're at high risk to get in an accident. The same thing with Credit Suisse. They're like a company with T, with like a driver with two DUIs. If you get in the car with them, more than likely you're going to get in an accident. You're going to crash. Okay, so Credit Suisse is in trouble. And then... You know, the, the client scout $88 billion, and, and I, I said that in a previous video. Then you got some YouTubers saying that, that Credit Suisse took that $88 billion and used that $88 billion to start covering their shorts. This was a few days ago, and I was doing some research. I was looking into it. I found no evidence whatsoever that Credit Suisse sent $88 billion to start paying off their shorts. And if they did it, it, it is very, very secret and on a down low because I found no evidence of that. I believe, and this is my opinion, I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell. I believe that Credit Suisse lost $88 billion because the clients lost confidence in their ability to, for them to make their clients any money. The, 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 the clients lost confidence that AMC was a profitable company and they took their money out to hedge their risk. OK, they felt that if they left their money with, with Credit Suisse, they would lose additional money. And here's the thing. Credit Suisse is such an important global bank that when they fall, other institutions are going to fall with them. OK, there's no way Credit Suisse falls by itself. There'll be other institutions falling with them. And like I tell y'all every day, when these banks fall, when their liquidity dries up and they're forced to sell those loans, then they'll be forced to cover their short positions and AMC, GME, and APE and other member stocks will go to the moon. Anyway, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff, and tell me what you think about Credit Suisse trying to minimize their dire financial situation. Anyway, God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.